Hey guys, what is up? It's me Jelus again and we're back for another Photoshop tutorial. And for today, we're gonna be transforming these images into this one. So basically, these are the images that I use. So this is just a money heist uh, image and an image of mine. So I just put them together and just adjust the proportion by using Control T on this one and just adjust the size so that it matches the proportion or the size of the uh, persons behind me and now uh, this is going to be a lot of trouble since our uh, main image here or my main image here is not really the same uh, light source with that of our background image to fix this I added some exposure just to increase those highlights a little bit and the next thing I did I added some brightness just to add more light to the overall picture to uh, match the highlight like from the background itself so these are the highlights which are coming from the upper corner so what I did here is I added a level adjustment layer so this is a level adjustment layer so to do this just uh, go to adjustment layer let's go to levels let's create a clipping mask and let's increase this one to somewhere over here to make it white and now we can just uh, go over it here on this side just double click then we need to separate this uh, slider here in order to decrease those lights in those areas that are supposed to be dark so just hold the alt key in your keyboard and just drag this one over here just press ok click here and press ctrl i to invert the layer mask and now you can choose a brush tool and just make sure this is a white foreground so just click this one and just paint those areas that you want to put some highlights just like this so this was the result i added some highlights in the hair and now I added some color balance I think I added some cyan because as you can see in our background those persons have some cyan and some green so I just added some cyan here and just decreased the green a little bit so basically all these adjustment layers here depends on your image since we don't really have the same image we don't have the same light source, shadows, lights, brightness, and etc. So all adjustment layers here are gonna be different from yours. So I throw in some color balance. And another thing, I added some more levels. And I added some contrast to this one. So contrast of 62. Just play around with all the sliders in these adjustment layers until you get your desired result and for the last thing i added some curves so basically this is the most complicated one and i think pix imperfect youtube channel can explain to you about using curves uh perfectly so basically what i did here is just go over to red so i just put uh some dots here over here and since the opposite of red is green so I put some greens here so I just drag this one like this and same thing to the green one I just added some contrast by dragging this one over here and also to the blue one so now we can really see that our image here or our subject here somewhat like uh, matches the colors of our background but not really that accurate so and it's really challenging for me since the laptop that i'm using here has only 65 percent color accuracy so i think you might do better than me so now these are all the adjustment layers that i made so you can you, you can find these adjustment layers just by going this icon here create an adjustment layer so these are all the adjustment layers that you can use in order to fix all those lightings and some contrast in your uh, subject. So now I think we are somewhat done with our color grading just a little bit. But we need to fix those shadows since uh, we, as we can see in our image here, these areas here 
here and here are dark compared to mine so to fix this one I just uh, let's just um, hide all these layers let's press ctrl J to duplicate this group right click and merge group so this is basically just uh, a merge uh, layer of our image with all the layers so now we can make changes to this layer only and not affecting all these layers so this is also like a copy of all those layers so that in case something goes wrong you can always uh, duplicate this layer or this group layer again until you get your uh, desired result for your image so now we just duplicated this one and now it's time to add those shadows so what I did here is I just used a burn tool and set the exposure to about let's say just uh, about 20% and I just brushed out these areas here to make it a little bit darker so now it's somewhat like matches that of our background so those areas need to be dark and over here so I'm just gonna decrease the exposure so that it can uh, smoothly or gradually uh, make our face darker so I'm just gonna slowly paint some dark areas here and somewhere over here and the next thing I did is I used a dodge tool just to make those li uh, light areas a little bit brighter like these areas here so I just added some uh, lighter areas here by using a dodge tool so over here also I think that looks okay now and use a burn tool again and I'm just gonna make this the shadow of my nose a little bit darker so let's just keep on brushing until okay I think that looks better and also in my lips and I'm gonna put some in my eyes okay now it looks a little bit closer to the uh, image itself other uh, background image itself so now I just put some shadows behind me so I just use a U or saturation for this one I just decrease this one create a clipping mask and just press ctrl i to invert the layer mask and choose a brush tool and with the white foreground just paint in some shadows behind me and the next thing i did copy of this suit here so i just used a pen tool in creating a selection over this part here then i just duplicated it and this was the result and duplicated this part again and just press ctrl on this one right click and flip horizontal and this one was the result and just created a layer mask and with the black foreground I just erased those areas that I don't need like this and this was the final result and in case you're wondering how I match the suit to my body posture so I just used a warp tool so I'm just gonna disable this link here press ctrl T click this warp icon or right click and choose warp now you can hold the alt key in your keyboard and drag these areas here until you match the body posture of your subject and now you can just press the move tool and you are already good to go and now we can tell that our image really matches the background but I think we need some more greens to this one so as you can see here so we can fix this by going to our copy so now we can go to adjustment layer let's choose color balance let's create a clipping mask and I think we need to add more green so I'm just gonna increase this one a little bit and maybe some cyan there you go now it matches our uh, background image and just to make this one more realistic like we are really in the picture itself 
since our image is not really that uh, high uh, high resolution so we can just add some noise in our uh, subject so let's go over here right click and convert this one to a smart object then we can go to filter noise and add noise so I'm just gonna add a little bit of noise here just to match the background and choose Gaussian for this one and just press OK now another thing that we can add here is filter noise and dust and scratches so just limit your radius pixels to about uh, maybe from 1 to 5 I'll give it a uh, 2 for this one so the lower your threshold the, uh, the more it's going to be blur for the image so I'm just gonna put it to somewhere uh, maybe some somewhere over 50 or 60 just to give it a little bit uh, of roughness on the overall image or maybe just decrease it more and just really play around with those sliders here until you get uh, your desired preference and just press ok whenever you're satisfied so after taking some time on adding those noises and dust and scratches this is the final result so I throw in another uh, level adjustment layer here just to add more highlights in this side of uh, my hair and now I created a layer mask here and with a brush tool and with a black foreground I'm just gonna increase the flow here and I'm just gonna delete this part of my image and I'm gonna do the same thing for the uh, image over here so I'm just gonna enable this one and now our arms are gone uh, which basically helps in blending our subject more to the background so just try to add some noise and dust and scratches and just you use the dodge and burn tool here to achieve this kind of look and now that we have our final result like this one we can start adding the title money heist and just I just use an aerial block for this one and for the final uh, touch I just used a camera row filter so let's create a merge layer of all these layers Control alt shift e convert this one to a smart object let's go to filter and let's choose camera row filter okay so I'm just gonna delete this one and show this camera row filter to you so this was the final result so I'm just gonna show you this one so let's uh, double click on camera row filter and I'm just gonna show you the details that I added here so basically I added some sharpening and noise reduction just to help uh, with my image blend more to the background itself I also added some color mixer on this one I increased the saturation of orange and yellow which makes the skin a little bit more realistic and just try to experiment on these um, settings here just to make your subject blend to the background more and whenever you're satisfied just hit ok ok so now we are already done with our tutorial so basically all these adjustment layers here just try to uh, experiment and play around with the sliders and just try to uh, keep on piling up uh, these adjustment layers here it, does, it doesn't matter if you have similar adjustment layers as long as you can get a desired result that you want to achieve so just try on experimenting on all of the adjustment layers until you blend your subject to your background and the very secret on making a better and realistic composition is simply just by taking a break because when you're working like this one uh, you take a lot of time and you're overly exposed with all the images here that you often barely notice all the mistakes so just by taking a break you refresh your mind and you'll just be surprised that when you come back to your work you're gonna see some mistakes from which you can correct from there so I hope you've learned something from this tutorial and if you do just hit the like button and notification bell and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel it would really mean a lot Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video.